Okay, here we have the infamous clown dog. Um, so we got the clown dog from um, an antique store. And it's chalk statue. And it's in the shape of a dog, wolfish thing. We've got um, kind of clown makeup going on here. And I don't know if you can see all the colors in there. Colors are not my strong suit, but uh, we've there's like this bow tie thing that happens here um, underneath there. Actually, I used to think it was just a ruffle in the fur, but it's actually a bow tie. So we've got the hole down there on the bottom. It looks like it was actually meant to be a bank, but this slit does not go all the way through. So you couldn't put money in there, I don't think, without um, doing a little cutting. And I'm not about to do any cutting. So here we have the clown dog. Now what we're going to do is a couple of minutes with the obelisk. So what I got out of that, um, we're around before, and uh, I think he said we're or where, I mean by he, I mean the obelisk. So I think the obelisk said where or we're twice. We're around before. Those were the things. Then there were a couple words in the beginning, and uh, I honestly have no idea what those said. So we're going to do a reading next and see what we got coming out of that. Okay, we're going to shuffle the cards here and um, just pull a couple. I feel like the first thing I'm actually going to ask is about the maker. So what was the deal with the maker of, of the clown dog, right? Because I'm kind of curious about that. So let's just see what sort of maker the dog has. Random word, clown, number 73. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. All right, so we've got a few that are spilling out right away. So here we're looking at the maker, right? And the first thing that comes up is this Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups, this is the old married couple. They've been too close for too long. Obviously, communication is broken down. That is not a sweet relationship. So this was part of a couple, right? And we've got the reverse fool. So this is also like not really being able to start over. So this is like eternal stagnation. Um, and just one more here. So we get the burden, Ten of Wands. So th this looks like someone who was in kind of a relationship that has had run its course, but they weren't able to get any separation, and uh, they were feeling they were feeling quite burdened. So we'll put those down there. All right. Now we're looking straight up at the dog and uh, what we've got going on here.
so we'll first look at what energy the dog represents, right? What does the dog represent? And then we'll look at its effect on the environment and um, we'll say desired effect on the environment. So what does the dog represent? That is right on the top. Bloop! Oh, there we go. All right. So the dog itself represents romance and harmony. Um, this is like a wish, it looks like, um, of this relationship down here. So it's like, man, what I would really like is uh, to have this sort of a, a date night, you know? So we've got that there. The dog represents romance and harmony and that sort of thing. So the next card is going to be um, the effect on the environment. And we get the strength card. So the strength card is like uh, self-control and that sort of thing. So, I mean, actually this looks like a, a pretty inspiring thing. And it's like if you lack strength, then you could draw inspiration from the clown dog. So, desired effect. And it is justice. So justice is uh, uh, equilibrium, we'll say, and well, I mean just justice, serving justice. So uh, fairness as well in the justice card. I just can't seem to get it to focus, but what can you do? All right. So what it really wants is justice. And uh, that could make sense, I mean, following the, the story of the maker and maybe the relationship that had kind of run its course. It's like, oh my god, I just want to be recognized for one fucking day, you know? Okay. So, I, to be honest, I am surprised at the positive nature of all of the readings that I've done so far for all of the objects. And I was partially expecting to see some sort of disruptive energy. And honestly, it hasn't been there in any of these readings. But that's pretty sweet because they're all in my space. So uh, it's great that I have all of these um, positive, powerful items surrounding me in my space. It's pretty cool we will do the spirit drawing next. Okay, so I don't pretend to know how this thing is going to take paint or how I'm going to successfully negotiate my way around this table. If you could see the rest of my room set up, you would know that this is not going to be easy. Hmm. All right, but we're going to do spirit drawing here with the clown dog Oops. you can't really see what's going on back here but, but let me tell you it's exciting
Okay, well there we have them on the spirit drawing, um, which I painted, and if you, I feel like those colors work pretty well with them, but uh, if you ever wonder about my choice of colors, I have very few um, paints to actually work with, and I'm red-green colorblind, so if you're like, oh, what the hell color is that? my response would be I have literally no idea so there we have the dog and the little spirit drawing so I think it might be a good idea to try the obelisk for one minute with the spirit drawing So that's our session with the clown dog. Eventually, I did learn the name of the clown dog. It is Kali, C-O-L-L-I-E, um, which totally makes sense. But also, I learned that a nickname is Ollie. So you could either say Kali or Ollie, and um, that seems to be the dog's name. So uh, if you have any insights as to anything that um, was said with the obelisk, which may have not been super clear, or uh, any thoughts at all, feel free to put them in the comments. Peace.